The first thing to do is when you have your codes, you need to go to a special URL, which is getastra.com forward slash pitch ground. And you will come to this particular screen here, which will ask you to create your account. So I'm just going to pause the video, create my account and enter in my coupon code. Once I've created my account and I have put in my code or codes, um, it comes up with this screen says, click here to log into your dashboard and start adding websites. So that's exactly what I do. And I put in the email address that I signed up with and I put in my password here and I click on the sign in icon. So this is my dashboard and the first thing it asks me is, what is the URL of the site which I want to secure? I decide on my site uh, and I'm going to put in HTT. Now you'll see that with the code that I have, I have three activations for three websites. What is the site that I want to put in? Well, that's up to me to decide. So I'm going to call it mastermind one on one com which is another website that I have I click on this button here pro plan and now it will ask me what technology does your website use so you can see that you can have this for Magento for Presta shop PHP other open cart now for most of us and since I'm used to WordPress I'm going to select WordPress for this installation and since the website is WordPress it makes sense so I am then told the steps that I need to do in order to activate Astra. First thing I do is I click to download the plugin. And if I just pause and log into my website, I'm going to show you how to install the plugin. Okay, so here I am in my WordPress dashboard. Now, the first thing, let's talk a little bit about security in general. WordPress is used by a huge amount of websites on the web. So it's one of the biggest target for hackers. Why? because it's so used and WordPress are constantly updating their core files and updating the whole WordPress system in fact when they discover new vulnerabilities. So the first thing that you have to do and you have to realize is that you must make sure that your WordPress installation is up to date. So by going to updates you will always find whether it is up to date or not. If you don't keep your WordPress installation up to date the problem is that hackers will know what version of WordPress that you're using and will know the vulnerabilities and will be able to attack your website. So that's the first thing that you should always do. But the second thing you need to do is be very careful of the themes and plugins that you use. Never, ever, ever, obviously, use a cracked or nulled theme. What that means is that somebody has got a paid theme that had some sort of security code on it and they've removed that security code in order to allow them to share or sell it as a bootleg to other people. Now what happens in that instance is that A, it's illegal, so you shouldn't do it, but B, the person who has cracked the theme may actually put in some sort of code in the theme for them to be able to access your website. Buy them from well-known vendors or vendors who have had a lot of sales because the problem also can be when you buy a WordPress plugin and install it, if it hasn't been coded properly, hackers may find an exploit for that. So everything should be up to date. So I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to update these plugins here, and it's it's very simple just by clicking on update. So always make sure that everything is up to date. Let me just move myself up here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to plugins and add new. Now, since I've downloaded that plugin, I need to click on upload plugin, choose file, and I choose this secure, and I choose choose, and I click on install now, and that will install the Astra plugin. Once I've done that, I need to click on activate plugin and that will go and activate and now you will see a new menu a new menu item appears over here called Astra so if I just click on Astra here it will bring up this screen here now I want to go back to my Astra dashboard here and I want to finish this install so I just go through each of the different options and it actually walks you through all the different options click on activate plugin click on it on the screen that uh, opens click on connect Astra now I think that just needs to be updated because we don't need to do that and click on that and now when I click on done what should happen is it should automatically connect up to the site now it automatically comes up and says two attacks on your website this week were stopped that's absolutely fine so that is all there is to adding your site to Astra it's as simple as that so over the next uh, number of videos I want to talk to you about threats I want to talk to you about malware scans login activity and settings I'll see you in the next video